Good morning and welcome to Western Road on the southern side of Haywards Heath Town Centre and we're here to look at number nine which is the old Victorian semi-detached house you're looking at now. Um, now I'm going to tell you a bit of a bit of history about this property because this in all my 33 years of selling houses is something I have never come across and uh, what that is is the fact that this house and the adjoining semi and numbers 18 and 20 uh, Western Road had been owned by the same family since they were built and this is the last one standing. We, we've just recently sold number uh, uh, 11 on the right hand side which is currently being uh, refurbished and this number 9 has been owned by a family called the Dollamore family and the bachelors, the various uh, generations of the family since it was built in Victorian times can you believe. And that family, they bought them brand new as investments because they used to run the Queen's Head pub in Bolney. Um, and rented them out and then the family actually moved into them in 1970 when they uh, they left the pub and uh, like I say it's been in the family name ever since then now beautiful old house Western Road it's a very established uh, road mainly of these beautiful Victorian villas um, if I look just to my uh, uh, southwest there at the end of the road is Franklin Road so turn right you can walk down into the town centre in five ten minutes turn left you can walk up to the hospital in five ten minutes and schools wise if you just walk a bit further down Western Road there's an alleyway a little way down there on the right hand side that cuts through to Eastern Road and that's the shortcut to St Wilfrid's Primary School so a lot of things are within easy reach the railway station from here is just over a mile distant um, and obviously schools wise you've got Oak Hall Community uh, College in Linfield uh, there's also Wharton Park over in uh, Cookfield as well. So come and have a look around. Now the house is in need of complete refurbishment uh, as was number uh, 11 next door and funny enough you can see we've just sold number 7 and 45 so there's lots of these been sold recently so those of you that have uh, may have looked at the others will appreciate this one like next door is a, uh, a real project. Um, so come have a look around. As you can see, nice long driveway with the garage. The garage is just a prefabricated structural garage. You may want to demolish that. A lot of the houses in this road have been significantly extended. In fact, the one across the road you can see has had a two-storey extension to the side. Most have had loft conversions. The one over there has got a slightly set back extension and another one has had a two-storey side extension. So you've got that potential if you want to. Do a two-storey extension out to the side, go up into the roof, go out the back. You've got lots of possibilities. This is very much a blank canvas. So come have a look around. Oh. Entrance hall. And you've got the traditional bay fronted uh, living room at the front. So bay window there, old tiled fireplace. That's not an original fireplace, but I guess that is probably 1930s. Again, as you can see, all needs decorating and, and revamping. And then the dining room behind. Good size room. That's got a gas fire on the wall, whether that's safe or not. Um, it's, uh, questions need to be asked but again take into account this house needs complete refurbishment so don't worry about a few little bits and pieces here uh, now this had a slight extension on the back so you've got the kitchen and then a, like a utility area and a downstairs loo so that makes it slightly larger than some of the others in the road on the ground floor but when we go outside and around the back you'll see you've got possibilities to make a fabulous big kitchen breakfast from downstairs and then upstairs we've got two bedrooms and an upstairs bathroom because generally they would have had a downstairs bathroom so this would have been a third bedroom originally so at the back bathroom here so a white suite and that's overlooking the garden which is all a bit overgrown but again part of the project it's a good bit of space and then the back bedroom Got a lovely fireplace. Now I'm guessing that is one of the original cast iron fireplaces in here. So you want to try and keep that if you could. Good size again, overlooking the rear garden. Excuse the noise from next door. I pick the morning when they've got the pneumatic drill out. And then the front bedroom, always very lovely these rooms. So they're great big rooms. Some people have actually sectioned these off to make a bathroom in one end of it. So again, lovely fireplace there and overlooking the front, where we started. Now, houses like these are pretty rare to get hold of. Uh, it seems mad to say that, bearing in mind I've just sold, uh, this will be the fourth one we sold in the road in recent months, but it's just ironic that uh, the three houses literally selling next door, there have been connections there. The certainly the adjoining two, sadly the uh, family, um, member of the family died in the house to the right. Um, but they're very close friends in the house to the left. 
and uh, they're now moving as well. So come down the garden, you've got the garage, like I mentioned, it's only a, uh, uh, a temporary structure, so this is what they call a Marley construction garage. It's all concrete blocks, all bolted together. Very useful, but don't just let some builder knock it down. If you put an advert in the paper saying free to collector, someone will actually dismantle this and go and put it up in their garden if you want it out of the way. A lot of people just move them, put them down the garden. Um, so when you come round the back, you can see that, uh, as I mentioned, that utility area in the loo is an addition to the old house. And then come down the garden. Garden is a bit overgrown, but it is lovely. And we're sort of swinging west, swinging north facing, but we're mainly west facing. This is a nice sunny garden. And overall, it's about 100 feet, 105 feet in length. And I can't get right down into the end, but I'll try and have a look around the back of this big fir tree. You can just about see through there. It goes right round to the end and you're backing onto what is called Franklin Court Flats down the bottom of uh, which are on Franklin Road. But a lovely big garden. But there you go. That gives you a pretty good idea of what you're seeing. We're looking at a two bedroom Victorian semi-detached house in need of modernisation, yet a fantastic project for someone. But if you'd like a bit more information or you'd like to come and have a look at it, please give our Hayward Heath office a call. Thank you very much.